Hey guys, so today I am here to vent out my frustration with Performance Max and Google Ads Editor. And here is why. Google Ads says that there is full support for Performance Max in the latest version of Google Ads Editor and that's not true. That's why I am frustrated, that's why my team is frustrated and I hope someone from Google Ads is listening and goes on to fix this for us. So here is what's, what's going on. So this is my Performance Max campaign and as you can see, uh, I have 15 asset groups here. Right. So frustration number one in the Google Ads interface of Performance Max is that it defaults to five asset groups in the in the view, but I can actually change it to 50. Right. And why I'm talking about multiple asset groups, because we have figured out that it's best to create as many asset groups as possible uh, for a Performance Max campaign. So our SOP is like minimum 20 and it goes on to uh, hit the maximum limit of 100. So when you are dealing with 20 to 100 asset groups, this is where you begin to get frustrated. So let's say I wanted to create, uh, let's say 35 more asset groups. Now, the only way I can do it right now is from the interface and interface is slow. We all know that, right? That's not, not a surprise. That's not a secret even. So what's happening is that if I switch the list to 50, and create one asset group or duplicate one asset group from here. Let's say I duplicate this asset group and I can uh, come back here. So if I duplicate this asset group and give it, let's say, another name, I can, let's say, say uh, asset group uh, 16, right? Once I create this, once I save this, I will change the audience signal and assets later, but I'm just one, trying to show you. Once I change this, it comes back to the 5. Really, Google, why can't it switch back to 50? I selected 50 in the previous interface, right? In the previous screen. So why can't you switch back to 50? I have to come back and do this again. This is like real poor usability on your part. Please fix this. Default it to the selection I have made in the earlier screen, in the earlier step. 50 so show me 50 next time so that's frustration number one every time you are trying to create an asset group you have to come back and switch to the default uh, list of 50 okay and frustration number two why can't you make it 100 if 100 is the limit if in a performance max campaign there are supposed to be 100 asset groups and that's the maximum limit why don't you give us the option of 100 here right that's frustration number two so the workaround here is to, to be able to create multiple asset groups at scale, we look at Google Ads Editor. And when we look at Google Ads Editor, we look at Google's claim saying that the performance max for Google Ads Editor. And Google goes on to say that the latest version of Google Ads Editor, read this line with me, has provides full support for performance max. This is an outright lie. <laughs> if this is not a lie, then uh, I think someone who wrote this article doesn't know what the full support of uh, of a campaign in Google Ads Editor means. I mean, the Google Ads Editor was meant to be uh, doing things at scale in offline mode, right? Here is the Google Ads Editor version of, of my account, all right? So I have this Performance Max campaign and it, I, can, I can go ahead and see the list of 15 asset groups here. That's great. What I can do here, which is at scale in offline mode, which is what Google Ads Editor is supposed to help me with, is I can go ahead and create, let's say I wanted to create 35 more asset groups. I can duplicate this by, by copy and paste this 35 times and I will have 35 more asset groups. And then all I have to do is I can go and change the name here. Let's say uh, AG16 and there you go, AG17 and there you go. So I can create multiple asset groups. I can copy over the asset groups here in the editor and that's great. What is also great is that it already has the ads, the headlines and long headlines and description and it also has the uh, images. Let's say I had, I wanted to uh, duplicate this 35 times and I wanted to copy over one set of ads to the other. So I can't copy the ads from here because I have to copy the asset group. So I can't copy ads from one asset group to another asset group. And that's frustration number three. Number one with Google Ads Editor though, that Google please provide us the ability to uh, copy paste ads between asset groups. And 
I mean, this is how you have been doing this for other campaigns. Like, you know, on the other campaigns, you have this uh, like long list of ads here that I can do. I can copy paste across multiple asset, uh, asset ad groups, not asset groups in, in this case. So in the other, uh, in the case of other campaigns, I can copy paste the ads across multiple ad groups. Why can't Google provide the same feature for ads on the asset groups? Why can't we, you know, copy over the ads into multiple asset groups? So I really hope that Google is listening and I really hope that they fix this. Now, besides ads, there is one more thing I want to copy over between different asset groups is the audience signals, right? And audience signals can be the keywords, the uh, list, the customer list, remarketing list, and the interest and demographic, demographic selections. So there is no way to right now find where the audience signals are unless you dig really deep into it and figure out that it's actually listed under shared library under the uh, audiences. So all the audiences that I have on my Performance Max campaign are listed here alongside the other audiences, which is not part of my camp, uh, asset, uh, sorry, Performance Max campaign. So my point here is that if I wanted to like, copy over the audiences between asset groups, I can't do that right now. And why? Because let's say it shows all the audiences at the campaign level. If I select any asset group, will it change and show me the audiences only in that asset group? No, it doesn't do that. So there is no way for me right now to copy over the audience signals between asset groups and that's frustration number two with google ads editor or maybe three this is the third one right yes so i really hope that google ads would provide this option where i can copy over the audiences between asset groups that would be really really helpful number four uh, problem is that i cannot edit these audiences so for example there is a uh, this this audience signal with keywords in it and the list of remarketing uh, remarketing lists there is no way for me to go and edit the list of keywords so it was very simple like we, you had the keyword uh, area here uh, keyword area where you could copy over keywords from one campaign or asset uh, ad group to another asset group another campaign and you could like really do it fast that option is no longer available with performance max so i don't know why Google is calling it the full support of Performance Max in Google Ads Editor and I really hope that someone which is watching and is going to fix this because if Google fixes this it will be a real game changer uh, working with Performance Max campaigns it will make things much simpler and it will make us way more efficient and effective uh, dealing with multiple asset groups and Performance Max campaign so this was my frustration. This was my, <laughs> this is my frustration, my team's frustration. And I hope, like I said, that Google is listening. And I, and I hope uh, that you will help me take this to someone <laughs> who really, who really can help fix this. So if you have faced this issue with Performance Max, please hit a like or add a comment so that algorithm takes this video to more people. And eventually it will go to Google Ads and hopefully we will have it fixed one day. Thank you.